Salutations, everybody. We're going to talk about another forgotten game that never got a reboot. The Clever Gone in the late 90s, like everything else. What are we talking about today? Atomic Trouble. This is our main character, Ed. And he's a janitor. Not to mention this game, in what you're looking at right now, is the PC. It's also on N64 as well. The story's plain and simple. Ed is pretty much a poor, lonely person, and for some reason he takes a, a drink of that weird stuff, and whatever there's inside it brings things to life. It's far enough he throws it away, and lands, but it lands in a random planet that looks like Earth, but it isn't. And lands at the Viking. Land and Viking. Once he drinks it, he becomes the most powerful old being on Earth. And turning everything in the entire land into pretty much weird stuff happening. Being all topsy turvy. He ends up in the court. Hurt. Hey, look at that. It's the general guy from Rayman 2. Yeah, did I forget to mention this game is done by Ubisoftware? Or the same creators that did Rayman? I was surprised that he's in this game as a cameo. So now it's up to Ed to redo the damage he has done. And this is pretty much how the game begins. I remember playing this game when I was younger on the N64. Or you just play this weird looking character. Or Ed. And like any video game platformers. First he does that. You can redo the the stage again if you want and just sliding down the first level I always find this one pretty fun to do fortunately this is the only time you get to do this in the beginning of the level or the bigger time limit but the real story is you have to save the world from and the Viking as you're playing Ed, you're, you're left defenseless and don't have a weapon yet until later on in the game you use a stick like, to defend yourself. Not to mention the music is pretty amazingly good. And then the graphics in the background look amazingly cool. Again with the A word, but still... I like how he has this victory animation here and say, yeah, and goes through a portal. Also, you meet Mr. X Z, and that gives you hands on what you're supposed to do in the game. You get like extra power ups. Out when Ed eats popcorn, he becomes. I'll let him explain it. Yep, Super Ed. 
and we're going to bend bars and beat up baddies. But to me, I love the sound effects, and it's one of those classic cartoon laggy vibe sound effects. You also have to help out the doctor who's his daughter's been kidnapped by a frog of the Viking. Yep, and you have to find spare parts for his machine. So basically this game is a fast quest. Fight missions. Yep, even the vegetables are pretty much invading our hero's quest to save the world. The coolest thing about this game is pretty much having Ed have different abilities to use an oversized bow tie to make him fly. And use a weapon if you hold down the LR button. And if I remember correctly, and you can use those weapons to aim at the enemies of the evil corn. And aim it several times and they'll fall he'll fall to his doom. It's kind of unfortunate that this game doesn't get that many reviews. Believe me, I tried. Oh my god, there's Nitro Red, and even CGR, a review that's way too short. And that guy that yells out, the LJN Defender! Anyhow, I'll, they'll be, you'll be solving puzzles while being part of the gameplay. Find a few bosses. There's slight differences to this game on the PC and the N64 that both of these are really different from each other. For instance, and Ed can't punch, but he can use a stick to whack his enemies with. Or Rayman can use his punch attack against other bad guys. And you have to use your bamboo stick to shoot Oot at the targets. And jump on those hovered or blowing wind greens. Things that you see in front of you. Later on, the game will be a little bit more challengingly tough. And it'll be plain and simple most of the time throughout the entirety of the game. Do this and you'll succeed in collecting more spare parts for the doctor to save his daughter. And she'll be proud um, that she... You saved her. And can swim underwater. Or for the most quick amount of time. As long as you can have the ability to help them. You lose a bit of lives. And instantly get a game over. You can and continue our quest. Qu quit. And do a few racing games that beat your, your time limit high scores. To be truthful, I never beaten this game before, but I did see what the ending looks like. There are several different levels you have to go through to defeat the evil of Viking Gorg. And I don't want to make this 
video to be like 30 minutes long, so this will be like less than 20 minutes. And so stick around for, for part two of Tectonic Trouble and most likely interesting, challenging puzzles to lead out this entirety of the gameplay skills. Those of our beloved hero, Ed. And then collecting and items and parts. Or it's fast quest mission games. Not to mention it is for little kids. So you won't be seeing anything else scary throughout this entirety of the game. And hopefully no spiders. Or anything else creepy. See you in part two, mites.